Good morning. Woke up in the plaza in San Ignacio and now we can see it during the day. It is gorgeous here. It's a cute little mission town and you can see where we're camped. The mission right in front of us. And the square. So Lindsay's out taking pictures already. So I'm gonna go join her and give you kind of a little tour of the town. And then we're gonna, I think, move on to Mulahe today, a little bit later. But for now, let's go and check out San Ignacio. This is like a little flashback to Lindsay and I first meeting in Cuba on our mission trip there. We walked around when we weren't meeting with people. Lindsay was taking pictures of beautiful doors like these. So the mission here was founded in 1716 and this was built originally in 1728. I think it probably took about 60 years for it to be built entirely. Mind you, we're in the middle of the desert. So San Ignacio is literally an oasis. Um, there's a river that flows through this area that kind of gives this life in a place that's in the middle of the desert, which we've driven through for days now, and see nothing but cactus and small shrubs. Definitely nothing as green as this. We love this town. The locals here have been so nice. We were uh, playing football with the kids last night in this town square. And now there's a couple of girls here that they want to pet Everest, but they're kind of afraid of her. <laughs> and Chris is playing with them. <laughs> different balls stuck up in the tree the game has changed. and we've been trying to get it out for the past 15 minutes so no luck yet but we're gonna keep trying it's, it's a fun new game yeah. I owe them ball, though. the two balls are up there to get hit in the face. Uh, can't really see it. <laughs> but you get the drift. 
Way up there. So close. No. It's stuck? You've got to be kidding me. The third ball. Our bolt heavier. The third ball is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> this, the ball eating tree. Seriously. <laughs> I think all the kids are tired of playing this game too. <laughs> I gotta get it. They don't have any faith in it. All I've done is steal their joy. <laughs> you joy stealer. Now I'm full sweat. We were not successful. We could not get the ball out of the tree. So we give up. Me duele mi armo. <laughs> me duele mi armo. <laughs> armo is not the correct word. San Ignacio, cute town, huh? I've loved it so far. Excited to come back next time. And stay Hang for a couple a little days. While longer, yeah. yeah. And really explore the town. And there's not a whole lot to explore, but there are No, people. it's small, but it's super quaint, cute, colonial. Would you call it colonial? Yeah. Quiet. Uh, yeah. Really nice locals. So we think we'll be back. Um, right now, this is displacing Guerrero Negro in my mind. <laughs> We thought we'd connect with Guerrero Negro, but had a great time. Spent a lot of time playing sports, or I don't know if you call it sports, but football, football, soccer, Foot the real football. Um, just having a blast with the kids in the in square, the park and yeah. town square. So um, hopefully they'll remember us. I'm sure they'll remember us when we come back. But that's something that I am definitely gonna look forward to. For right now, we are going to head out on the road. Get back on the one and take this drive into Moulay. It's supposed to be pretty windy and twisty. I wonder if there's dangerous curves. Yeah. Muy. Curva peligrosa. Muy peligrosa. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be pretty windy downhill going into Moulay. Not looking forward to the idea of coming back up, mm -hmm. but we're not going to be doing that for several months. So we'll get this drive under our belts and we'll be in Moulay in a couple hours.
reached our campground in Mulahay. Our campground is about a mile away from the center of town, so we are riding our bikes into town. Beautiful river. Lindsay's bike still works great. Mine. I lost the lock on my seat that holds it in place, so I can't adjust it. Everybody that we met along the way has said Mulahay is really special. We kind of got that feeling when we were driving through. It's old. Um, there were these little banners fly flying above the street everywhere we went. And uh, just felt like it was a cool little place to chill out for a week or so. And that's what we're going to do, is we're going to be here for maybe a whole week. we got a lot of work we got to do online, of course, so you can watch this video. But we also have to... Um, just get some downtime. What do you think of Mulahay? I love it. I want to buy Colonial Building. <laughs> Lily, she said that, not me, but I'm going to edit it in there. <laughs> we are at La Casitas Historical Restaurant. Our friends Joe and Lily told us about this place. Funny story, we're not gonna embarrass them, um, but it was a funny story they told us, and so we said when we're in Mula Hay, we're definitely gonna come here and have a margarita or two. Lindsay, you gonna have? Probably you can only handle half a margarita. So I'll either be having one and a half or two and a half margaritas. Yeah, about that. <laughs> There's your lemonade. You can come back and get it. Gracias. Oh my gosh, I should have just gotten one of those. <laughs> the one who didn't want to drink it's the biggest one. Is this lemonade? Holy Here's moly. the thing, Lindsay, we're a team. <laughs> so we together have to finish that. Don't feel like you have to do it on your own. Okay. Look at the size difference. I'm a, bit, gonna... I'm a big guy. Is that what are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, your margarita. Your margarita. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Cheers to Mule. Oh, cheers. And to our friends Joe and Lily. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. That's it's delicious. Really Whether you drink margaritas or not, you definitely need to come to this place to yeah. drink a margarita. Or one big behind lemonade. <laughs> if you like this video and you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button and also hit that notification bell so you know when our next video comes out. See you next time. <laughs>